Hello everyone, my name is Kaite and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this sunburst granny square bag. It is very easy to make. First I'll show you how to work on the granny square, then we'll attach it using slip stitches so there's no sewing. Then we'll work on our strap and I'll show you how to crochet that and how to attach it to the side. So let's get to it and create something great. For this project I'm using number 4 medium weight yarn. These are the colors I chose my bag to be. You can choose any colors of your choice. You're also going to need your scissors and the number 5 millimeter crochet hook. I crocheted my bag starting with this darker color. For this video I'm going to start it using a different color so you can see better. Let's slip knot to start. Chain four. Here's one, two, three, four. Go into our first chain and slip stitch to create a ring. Like so. We're going to be working into that ring right there. I'm going to be working my tail in so I can tighten my center. Let's chain four. Here's one two, three, four. This stands for first double crochet and a chain one. Into the ring we're going to work one double crochet chain one, one double crochet, chain one one double crochet, chain one, and that's the repeat. So continue working your double crochets and chain one. You need 12 total, including this one. So, so far we have one, two, three, four. So continue working and I'll meet you at the end of this round. So here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to chain 1 and I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into my third chain. So here's 1, 2, 3. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch right there to finish the round like so. So here's our round 1 and don't worry this is going to even itself out and now if I pull on this tail, it's going to tighten my center, like so. At the end of round one, we can go ahead and cut our yarn. We're going to be changing it and I'll show you how to change our yarn. You can start your round two in any of the chain one spaces. I'm going to start mine where I finished working so I can work this tail in. The way I attach my yarn is I'm going to go into my chain one space and I'm going to go ahead and put my yarn over my hook like so and just bring up a loop. I'm going to go ahead and hold my tail in so it doesn't escape and using my working yarn I'm going to go ahead and chain one and as soon as I chain one, I can go ahead and pull on this tail a little bit and it tightens it like so and just hold it. So go ahead and chain two more. So this chain three stands as our, our first double crochet. We need to work one more into the chain one space. Chain one and go into the next chain one space and work two double crochets. Here's one and two. Again, repeat, chain one and work two double crochets into the next chain one space, like so. and chain one. I'm going to go ahead and cut these tails. We don't need them. And you can do the same. Like so. 
So go ahead and continue working your two double crochets, chain ones all around, and I'll meet you at the end of this round to show you what to do next. So here I changed my color back to dark brown. So to end round two, what we need to do is chain one and slip stitch into our third chain of the beginning of the round that we did. Let's go ahead and fasten up and cut our yarn. We're going to change our color. This is how it looks like so far. For this round, I'm using a mustardy color and I'm going to go into the chain one space where we just finished. Insert my hook, bring my yarn through, I have a loop, and what I'm going to do is hold my tails, like so, and chain three. Here's one, two, and three. Into this chain one space, I'm going to work two double crochet. Our chain three stands ours, our first double crochet. So here I have my one, two, and three double crochets. Chain one, and once again I'm going to be working my tails in so I can cut it. I'm going to work three double crochets into my next chain one space. So here's my two and three double crochets. Chain one and go into the next space, chain one space, and repeat. Work three double crochets. So here's one, two, and three, and chain one. So continue working your three double crochets and chain one, and I'll meet you at the end of this round. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my round three. I'm going to chain one and slip stitch into our third chain from the beginning of the round, like so. I'm going to cut my yarn. And we're going to start on round four using a different color. So using my green color, I'm going to go into my chain one space where we finished off. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up a loop, hold my tail, and I'm going to chain three. Here's one, two, three. I'm holding both of my tails so I can work them in. And for round four, what we need to do is work four double crochets into chain one space. So here's my first double crochet. Here's my second. So that's two, three, and four. I'm going to chain one and go into my next chain one space, which is right over here, and repeat. I'm going to work four double crochets, one, two, three, four, chain one, and repeat. Going to chain one space and work four double crochets. So that's two, three and four and chain one. So continue working four double crochets and chain one into the chain one spaces and I'll see you at the end of this round and we'll continue on. To finish round four I just chain one and I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch on top of my third chain like so. Cut your yarn This is how it looks like so far. So for round five, I'm using this mocha color yarn. And I'm going to start the same way. I'm going to bring my yarn. Here's my loop. Hold my tails. 
and I'm going to chain three. Here's one, two, and three. For round five, what we need to do is work five double crochets into our chain one space. So my chain three stands as my first double crochet, so that's one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to chain one and go into our next chain one space and work five double crochet. But I just want to show you if you want, what you can do is just use your hook and put your tails into our stitches of the previous round to kind of hide them a little bit so they don't stick out. That's another way you can hide your tails. Just wanted to show you in case if you wanted to know. So I'm just going back and forth until I get to my chain one space into my next chain one space like that. And see it's kind of hidden, it's not really showing. So here we worked our uh, chain three with four double crochets, chain one, and into our next chain one space, we're going to work our five double crochets. So that was one, two, three, four, and five, chain one, and repeat. So work five double crochets into each chain one space with the chain one in between, and I'll see you at the end of this round. So I just chain one, and I'm going to end my round by slip stitching into my top of my third chain, like so. Let's go ahead and cut a yarn. This is how it looks like so far. What we need to do next is we need to make it into our square. I'm going to start the same way. I'm going to go into my chain one space where I finished off and I'm going to attach my new color and I'm using off white. You can use any color you want. So I'm going to go ahead and hold my tails together and using my working yarn, I'm going to go ahead and chain three. So that's one, two, and three. So here's my first double crochet and into, into this chain one space, we're going to work a corner. So this chain three stands as my first double crochet. I'm going to go ahead and work two more double crochets into the chain one space. So that was one, two, so here I have my one chain three space as my first double crochet, so that's one, two, and three. I'm going to chain two, and going back into the same chain one space, I'm going to work three double crochets. So here's my first, so that was one, two, and three. Next I'm going to chain one. So what I'm going to do is quickly hide my tails. So I'm using my hook and just hiding them into my double crochets of the previous round. Like so. There we go. Going into my chain one space, I'm going to work four double crochets. So that's one, 
two, three, and four, chain one, and then to the next chain one space, repeat. So work four double crochets. So that was one, two, three, and four, chain one, and now we're going to work a corner. And the corner is three double crochets, and three, chain two, and going back into the same chain one space, work three double crochets again. So there is our corner. So, so far we have our corner and we have our four double crochets and in between each one we have a chain one. And let's repeat. We're going to chain one and into the chain one space we're going to work four double crochets. chain one and again going to the next chain one space and work four double crochets. My yarn is tangled. Into the next chain one space we're going to repeat and work four double crochets. So that's one, two, three, and four. Chain one and now we're going to work a corner again. So we need three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. Three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. Chain one and repeat. So work your four double four double crochets into this chain one space, chain one, four double crochets into this chain one space, chain one, and then work your corner, and then do four of your double crochets here, and don't forget to work your chain ones in between. And I'll meet you at the end of this round. So to finish round six, let's go ahead and slip stitch into our top of our chain three that we did in the beginning like so and this is how it looks like so far and don't worry it's going to straighten out more as we continue crocheting what we need to do next is we need to slip stitch to get to our chain two space right here so let's go ahead and slip stitch slip stitch one more time and slip stitch right into our chain two space let's go ahead and chain three our chain three stands are as our first double crochet and work two more double crochets. Here's one and two. Let's go ahead and chain two and work three more double crochets back into our chain two space. So that's one, two, and three. Next we're going to work one double crochets into each stitch across to get to our next chain two space right here. So go ahead and pull on your work on your corner a little bit because we need to add, we need to work one double crochet right in here. So that's our first double crochet. Go into the next double crochet of the previous round and work your double crochet and then work a double crochet there. So, so far we work three double crochets. So here's one, two, and three. And into this chain one space, work one double crochet and continue. Work one double crochet 
into each stitch like so then work a double crochet into our chain one space and then continue I'm putting one double crochet into each stitch chain one space I'm going to work my double crochet and here I am at my corner I need to work one double crochet here and then one double crochet here and one more double crochet right over here so this is how it looks like we worked our corner and we worked one double crochet all along the side now what we need to do, go into our chain 2 space and I'm not chaining 1 anymore and I'm going to work my corner. So here is my 3 double crochets chain 2 and work 3 more double crochets back into the chain 2 space like so And we're going to repeat by putting one double crochet across this side to get us to this chain 2 space to work our next corner. So continue working your double crochets and your corners and I'll meet you at the end of round 7 to show you what to do next. Okay, so here I'm coming to the end of this round and I just wanted to show you that we have this three double crochets left and because we slip stitched into them it's a little bit hard to find them but make sure you work your three double crochets so I'm going to go into this one right here and work my double crochet right in there then I'm going to go into my next stitch and work my double crochet there so this is how it looks like and then I need to work one more right in here to make it even like so and now we can go ahead and slip stitch on top of our third chain like so so this is how it looks like we have one more round left so let's go ahead and slip stitch here's one two and three and this round is just a single crochet round into our chain two space we're going to chain one and work four single crochets so that's one two three and four and then we're just going to continue working one single crochet into each stitch across like so and I'm just going to work one single crochet across to get to my chain two space and into my chain two space I'm going to work four single crochets and then I'm going to continue putting single crochets along this side, four single crochets into the chain two space, single crochet across this side, and chain two space. I'm going to work four single crochets and repeat same thing on this side until I come over here and I'll meet you here to show you what to do next. So here I'm coming to the end and what we need to do is go ahead and work our single crochets and don't forget to work one more right in here 
and go ahead and slip stitch into our first single crochet like so this is how it looks like let's go ahead and cut our yarn like so so go ahead and work on your second square once you have that ready I'll show you how to join them together so I'm just gonna pull on my yarn tail and just have it kind of tighten the center a little bit more and using any of the double crochets I'm just inserting my needle into that space and then once again going the opposite direction picking up my double crochets and then I'm going to go ahead and go the opposite direction one more time like so and there you have it you can go ahead and cut your tail let's work on this one same way using our yarn needle we're just gonna go to the back and bring our needle using any of the stitches gonna bring my yarn back and then going into any of the single crochets going back up and then I'm gonna come right back down like so and then one more time picking up more stitches let's see so you go ahead and work on your other tails that you have but that's the way I work on my tails to attach our squares what we need to do is we need the wrong sides together like so and then the right sides facing us we're going to slip stitch to join them together and we're going to start here come down here slip stitch across and then come back up this way and I'll show you how I do it okay so once you're in your corner go ahead and count your four single crochets here's one two three four I'm going to go into my second right over here I'm going to insert my hook and then I'm going to repeat the same thing on my other square so I'm just gonna go ahead and count let me show you on this side so here's one and two three and four so I'm gonna go into my second one and together I have both of them on my hook like so and we're going to attach our yarn so go ahead and bring up a loop using all four loops of our square and go ahead and chain one pull on this yarn tail just to make it tighter next we need to go ahead and insert our hook into this stitch and then go back into our other square and pick up the other stitch too like so yarn over and slip stitch like so we can move this to the side and we'll work on it later once again going to the next stitch into the next loop like so and going to the next stitch and bring up a loop so here we have both of our loops so here's our V here and our V here yarn over and slip stitch like that so again picking up our stitches from both squares so I have one two three four loops yarn over and slip stitch again picking up our stitches and slip stitching like so and once you get it going it works up super quick like so the most important thing here is just making sure you pick up all the stitches 
So I'm just going to continue slip stitching into both of my squares and I'll meet you at the corner right over here to show you what to do next. So here I am at the corner and once again we're just we have our four stitches here. So what we need to do is repeat and just making sure they're aligning together and just slip stitching like so. And then that brings us to the next side and we're just going to continue slip stitching like so, picking up every stitch as we go across. I'm going to continue and slip stitch all the way to this corner and then go around and slip stitch to this corner and I'll meet you right over here to show you what to do next. So here I'm finishing up and I'm at my last corner. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch and one more. So here it is. This is how it looks like so far. Next what we need to do is we're just going to work one single crochet right along the opening of the bag. So let's chain one and into this space right over here we're going to work one single crochet and then work one single crochet into each stitch around like so. I'm going to work my single crochets all along the side and I'll meet you right over here to show you what to do next. So here's my second side. This is where we started to attach them together. I'm going to work my single crochet here. Then I'm going to go into this space right over here, work my single crochet and I'm going to jump into this space right here let me move this tail so you can see. Right into this stitch right here and I'm going to work my single crochet in there. I'm going to also work my tail in so I don't have to worry about it. And like this I'm going to continue working my single crochets and I'll meet you once I'm right over here to show you how to finish. So here I am at the other side. I'm going to go ahead and work my single crochet into this stitch right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch into my first single crochet which is right over here like that and fasten off. This is how it looks like so far. Next what we need to work on is our strap. For this strap I went ahead and I chained 130 chains. Now you can make your shorter or longer, it's up to you, but I'm going to do 130 chains. Into our third chain of the hook, so here's one, two, three, work one half double crochet like so and then work one half double crochet into each chain across like so so go ahead and work your half double crochets across your chain and I'll meet you at the end of this row Here I have two stitches left. I'm going to go ahead and work my half double crochet and one more half double crochet. So this is how it looks like so far. Jasper, move. Thank you. I'm going to work my first single crochet right into this space right here, right there. 
and I'm going to go ahead and work one single crochet into the remaining of my stitches. So continue working your single crochets and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, so I have a few stitches left. I'm going to work my single crochet here. And don't forget there's one more single crochet right into the space right here. Like so. So this is how it looks like. You can stop here or you can add one more row. So go ahead and chain one. If you choose to do this row, it's just a slip stitch row in between the two stitches that we have here. And I'll show you how to do that. So here we have our half double crochets that we worked on this side and single crochets that we worked on this side. So we're going to be slip stitching right into the space between the two stitches. So yarning over, pulling through and pulling through. So that was one. And then go back into the next space, which is right over here and repeat slip stitch like so. Then again go into this space right here and slip stitch and again go into the space right here and slip stitch. So it's the spaces right between the two stitches that we did, the half double crochets and the single crochets kind of adds this really pretty braid and it gives it more of a reinforcement on your strap but if you're having a hard time finding your spaces you could leave it as is and not add this third row it's your choice so I'm just finding the spaces in between my stitches and slip stitching like so. So continue working and I'll meet you at the end of this row and this is how it looks like so far. So there's this braid right over here. So here I have few stitches left. Slip stitch here and then don't forget to slip stitch right into the space right here. So slip stitch and then chain one and this is how it looks like. You can go ahead and fasten off and we'll go ahead and attach our strap to our bag. Leave a long tail for sewing our strap to the bag. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to focus on this shorter tail and let's go ahead and quickly hide it. So I'm just going to go to, this is the front and this is the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and hide it in any of the stitches, like so. And just come out this way and we can cut that tail. So working on the side of our bag, we're going to go ahead and place our strap right where we did our single crochet round. So I'm just going to place it like so, give myself some room to sew. And then if you notice on the outside, I have my braid aligned with our side seam right here. And I'm going to go ahead and add a large safety needle or safety pin and just close it. That way it keeps it in place and I can sew it on. I'm actually going to remove this so you can see better. The way I do my whip stitches is I just go ahead and pick up, I'm going to start on one of the sides to begin with. And I'm just picking up one of the stitches from the back and one of the stitches from the a strap like so and then just pulling up my yarn and then going back around 
into the same spaces so I'm picking up the stitch from my bag and the st stitch from the strap and just securing it like that and then now I'm going to be working on the bottom I'm trying what I'm doing is I'm working on my invisible uh, sewing and so I'm not having my needle go out this way I'm using the stitches only in the back so I'm picking up my little loops on this side and then I'm picking up the stitches from the strap as well and just whip stitching it and then again focusing on only picking up the back stitches like so So just continue finding your stitches and just whip stitch it. So there you go. Now I'm on the other side of my strap here. So again, I'm going to use one of my stitches from the bag and then pick up another stitch from my strap and whip stitch it like so. This is how it looks like so far. For reinforcement, I'm just going to go ahead and add a couple of stitches to the front. So I'm picking up my loops in the front and just trying to kind of go along with my stitches the way they are formed. And just put in a couple of stitches like that. You don't have to but I just like to give it a couple more stitches just so it's reinforced and then one more so notice that I'm, I'm kind of going into the braid there's a braid right here and I'm just working right inside of that braid of the stitch like so I think that's enough so now what we need to do is just Go ahead and fasten off or end our stitching. So what I like to do is have a loop, put my needle into the loop and tighten it like so. Then I'm just going to come back over here using any of the stitches and I'm going to go ahead and repeat. So here's a loop, putting my stitches into the loop and closing it. And now what I can do is using any of the stitches on the side of the bag, I'm just going to go ahead and sew back and forth like so. Trying to only pick up the loop, loops that are on the back so it's invisible, it's not showing like so. And we can cut our yarn. Our strap is attached. I notice we have a tail, so I'm just going to go ahead and work on this tail really quickly and hide it before I start sewing my second side of the strap. So let's quickly hide this tail. Once again, bring your tail to the back and just kind of go back and forth sewing it or hiding it, I should say, into the stitches. Like, go ahead and cut it. Now make sure when we are working on our strap on the other side, our strap is even and it's not twisted. That's the most important part. Now what we need to do is making sure that we attach our strap on the inside of the bag. So this is the outside, this is the inside. So go ahead and position the way you like it. Once again, you can go ahead and clip it on with your safety pin if you have one. If not, it's okay. And just check it just to make sure it's not twisted. And our braid is even with our side stitch right here. All right, and you're ready to sew. I'm going to come to one of the sides and I'm going to pick up a stitch from the back and move to the stitch on my strap and 
what I want to do here is, I think I'm going to knot it a couple of times just to make sure it doesn't escape or it doesn't come loose. Like so. And we can continue sewing. So once again, pick up the same stitching and go ahead and whip stitch. And I'm just picking up stitches that are in the back only. And I think I'm going to go ahead and stitch this in place as well. So hold your strap, pick up your stitching and whip stitch. I'm going to cut this tail. I'm going to cut this tail like so. And let's continue sewing on this side. And one more. And then I'm just gonna, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple more stitches on this side. So I'm using the braid and going inside the braid of the stitch and just putting a couple of stitches there because it becomes invisible and you can't really tell. If you can find them, if not, it's okay. Just try your best. Like so. So now let's go ahead and hide our tail. Well, before we do that, let's go ahead and fasten off, leave a loop. And again, choose a different stitch. Insert your needle into the loop and pull like that. And now we can go ahead and hide our tail. So I'm just using the side stitches like so, going back up and going down one more time. And we can cut our tail. So here our strap is on and it's secure. We sewed it on and your bag is finished. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.